Back in the, the freaking freezing cold. Frozen wasteland that we're in. I haven't talked to these guys in a while. And they have new things to say. Let's speak to them a little bit. That's why I haven't uh, explored any of these rooms. I don't think these have anything I care about. I haven't unlocked any of these uh, scene overrides. So, like, I kind of don't. Need to go in there. There's nothing in here. Hey, what's up? Aloy. What's up, new squad mate? Work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing. A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors yeah, out fuck there. fuck that guy. Returned from beyond the stars. Uh, of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. You wanted data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. You mentioned Eric Visser. How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well... At least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know Gerard. anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but... They're a good group. It's funny, because... One of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck. But even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are not wrong. Oh, that's so much. I need to get going. Never mind. But if you need anything, uh, I need there's so much more dialogue than I'm mission. interested in talking to you about. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. 
Okay. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. I'm good, brother. Believe me, I'm good. I'm vibing. Welcome back. What's up, brother? Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling. Hey, queen. We have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. Hours? Each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. What do you mean in bad shape? Panic attack? Panic attack, Andy. I'm gonna have to give her a pep talk. I bet I'm gonna have to give her a pep talk. I bet she's panic attacking. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the I don't think that door had power before, but Aloy. looks like it's malfunctioning. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Fucking Debbie Downer Andy, bro. Leave me alone! You don't understand! Leave me alone! Fucking temperamental teenager over here. Jesus. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? Felt that, brother.
thing. Him. My mentor guy. Beta. You don't have a defect. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. Look at them. Thanks, Frost. There he goes. There goes Rost. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. Promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Thanks, Ashley Birch. And uh, Ashley Birch. She does a good job of making her voice sound. Whenever you are ready, come speak to me, and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. She does a good job at uh at uh making her voice sound different enough. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. That is what this is. There are wizards from the moon, not the wizards from the moon, <laughs> not the destiny reference. Hello again, Aloy. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. Not the wizards in the so, moon. <laughs> me and Beta. I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Yeah. Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Hmm. So, about Beta, I never really saw the difference between us, until now. She's been through so much, completely alone. You have both endured many hardships, different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. 
I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. I can help Charles get his arm back? Hold up. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have found a workaround. Zoe will want to fill you in on the details. Okay, sounds promising. Are these like, are these like the loyalty mission? Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. Understood. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? Mm. He unfortunately Reinhardt. crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you. The ancient world, almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. 
When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants. Once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system. Without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. Okay. Um... I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. I don't want to help the dude get his arm back. I don't care about the rest of the lads, but like... Help! I'll help the. I'll help Charles get his arm back. Everybody else can kind of get fucked. Yeah, I'll help, I'll help Charles. issue with beta it's better now though ah uh, i'm not surprised really why not i once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life it was deeply uncomfortable for him did he ever get over it in time but not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge ah well at least i avoided that there is Something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's... personal. If you have a moment to spare. Anything for you, Charles. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. Okay. I should go get ready. I await your orders. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. I'll help. I'll help the man. I'll help the man. 
Yeah. I'll help the man get a new arm. Doesn't oh. seem that bad. That door is unlocked now. Let's uh let's go. Onward. The victory. Travel exactly to it. Zenith Labs around here. That's where Catalo said we'd find what he needs. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. And we're hey, in the cold again, bro. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. Understood. There we go. The lab's up this way. Is Charles gonna climb with one arm. You okay? I got this. Doing great, Charles. Machines. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. No, we dispose of them. Shit. That is. Didn't die in one hit? Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. I remember this place. Giant borehole. The anime did this? Hard to believe. But yeah. Enemies up ahead. Enemies. Just one. Uh oh. What do you mean, question mark? Where's the man that knows where I am? Is that it down there? Yep, we better make our way down there. We're here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database guy was talking about. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. Or don't think we're supposed to go that way. This is the way out. Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. I don't remember what the code is. 
don't think I need to. I think I found what we're looking for. Over here. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! For the fallen marshal! Spectres? Charles, how you doing with the other one? There's a man behind you, isn't there? I just tried to double jump, and I can't do that in this game. Oh. What in the, what in the world? Oh, that's some nonsense. Hey, Charles, are you going to help at all? Literally at all? No, you're not going to do shit. It ain't even useful for him to get aggroed on or nothing. Stands there, doesn't do shit. Ow! I still don't know how to use my heavy ability, my, my special abilities. By the way, I've gone the whole game without understanding that core feature of the game. This motherfucker! Hey! Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. Heard up there on the second floor. Over there on the second floor. Is it, is it both? I just don't know how to activate these two abilities in the bottom right that I've had for so long. I've hit every button on the controller. Is it both? Uh, it's both bumpers at the same time. It's like a, I think Destiny, Destiny Super, like that. We need to search the entire floor. Okay. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Gotcha. Good idea. I 
still don't know how to use the other one. But at least I know how to use one of them. At least I've activated something. A vent. Might be a way out of this room. Vent? Sus? Are these your components? Are these your components? This your card? You said a vent, but I don't see the vent. Unless she was just talking about the vent that we just came through. Here. Put your shit down. No. Oh, can I get on this? Yep. Now we're venting. Now we're sus. The components have to be here somewhere. They ain't in here. Components are in there. Oh. Run away. Gotcha. I should go back and give these to Katalo. Charles. Charles, I have your I have your robot parts for your robo arm. What's up? You found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <sighs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the Ten. All right. Now we go back to base, talk to the man. Oh, not happy to see me? Uh oh. That sounded very Chloe Price, that one. That, that seems like a kind of thing Chloe Price would say. I think uh, Ashley Birch has done a good job not sounding like Chloe Price, actually. Um, that's the only other thing that I've ever heard her in. Yeah, I think that's that's the only thing I've ever heard her in with the live stream. Right. Now I can fast travel. Perfect. Feel this frost down to my bones.
Let's go. Hello, Charles. You wish to discuss something else? You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? On bad. Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. The Ten. Pretty sure this is where Kotalo wanted us to test his new arm. Sure is. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Wanna test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. The thing, Charles. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. We're going to fight. This is it. What? Why am must I we fight? At? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm. On that. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. I'm honored to help. Yeah. Doesn't have a uh, thingy boys. After you. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. standing in water. Ow. I feel like I killed it. And you didn't get to test shit. Well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? 
This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Thanks, Charles. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Thanks, Charles. I appreciate that.